Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products, and this video is on Bluebeam Review 2016 and how to use the measurement markup tools. Here I have a PDF file open, and if I want to start measuring content in this PDF file, I can either head over to the measure toolbar command up here, and it will give me my measuring tools in the ribbon. Or I can head over to the measuring command here, and it will display the commands up here as well as the property information. In order for you to use these measuring tools, you need to calibrate the file first in order for the measurements to be correct. Here under the calibrate command, you have precision level as well. When you are calibrating the PDF file, you can actually calibrate a separate vertical scale should that scale be different than the horizontal one. I will click Calibrate, and the software will ask me to pick two points on the file to calibrate that file. I'll click OK, zoom in, and if I have Snap to Content turned on, then I can click hold the shift key down so that I'm measuring perfectly orthogonal, click the second area location, and put in the dimensional value that it needs to be. Click OK, and it's calibrated. Now to verify that this is correct, you can use the measuring tool length command to measure either the same location that you used or a different location. So here I'm using a different one and it's reading 7 feet 4 like it's supposed to. It's also still reading 6 8 like it's supposed to. And then we verify horizontally as well. And now this is off by 1 8 of an inch. So depending on how much you zoom in and where you click will dictate that measurement. So now that the measurement tool is set up properly and the page is calibrated properly, I can use each one of these commands accordingly. The first is length, and that's just you clicking two locations, and it automatically puts in that measurement. You can select the measurement after the fact, and you can move it, and you can use the rotate command and the little grips to adjust the positioning of where that feature is supposed to be. And if you use the grips on the left or the right extension, you're actually specifying a new point for it to dimension to or from. The second command is area. Start the command, and you can either left click, move your mouse, and click again, and make a polygonal area. Clicking back to the original will give you your total. You'll also notice that the um, units is set for feet and inches. You can change this if necessary. If you left click and hold and drag and then let go, it makes a rectangular area measurement. If you hold the shift key down and left click and hold and drag, it makes a perfect square. The next command is called the perimeter command. That's a useful command where you want to measure the linear distance from, say, this corner to this one to this one to this one to get a total running linear distance of, say, chipboard wall. Start the command, pick the point, then pick the next point, then the next point, and the next point. If you double click at the end, you'll see that the measurement has been created and it gives you that length. And then you have diameter. Diameter is a good one, for example, in a bathroom. And I can left click and just hold and move my mouse. And you'll see that the measurement starts to show up. And here it's showing me it's four, nine and a half inches in diameter for this restroom, which obviously, as you can tell, it does not meet code. You have an angle command measurement as well. So you can basically pick a point, pick another point, and then pick another point. 
and it will give you the angle that you need. Um, and then there are a few other commands as well for center radius and three-point radius and for volume. And you also have count. So if, for example, if I use count, I could head over here to these squares and as I click, it places a check mark. And then here is called cutout. Cutout is a feature where if you have an area you've defined, say this area here, I can use this command to cut out a different area within. And an example would be maybe an exterior elevation wall that has windows. Uh, lastly, when it comes to counting measuring, there's another way you can kind of approach this. If I use the search condition and use a visual search and search a rectangular area like this, I can tell the software to hunt the entire PDF file for that graphic information. Depending on the sensitivity level, low or high, or a range, will dictate how long it takes, and it will tell you in the lower left corner the percentage of when it's complete. When it is all said and done, it'll say 100%, and it will list your results here. As it stands now, this search is at 58, 60% roughly, and it gives me 177 results so far. When this is said and done, I can click any one of the search results and it will change the view of the document to show you where it found that information. So if I click this, it will jump and display that data. For counting purposes, I can use Control A to highlight all of them, right click and say apply count measure and they will all get counted right away. And lastly, those markups are also displayed here. Okay, and these are the measurement commands in Bluebeam Review 2016. Thank you for watching.